Okay, so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can play Rattler 2 Heuris Revenge on Windows 10 64 bits and all the latest updates installed. And I have also latest NVIDIA drivers installed. And this exact version is installed from Origin and from the Commander Conqueror the Ultimate Collection package. The game can work out of the box, but there's a couple of issues. And one of the issues is that by default the Ultimate Collection has this bug that you cannot pass parameters to the exe file. So we are gonna fix that. Uh, there might be a black screen issue where you, when you go to the game, it's only showing you the black screen and you cannot do nothing about anything about it. And there can be a green ping, pink pixelated graphic issue where the game is looking really shitty. And there can also be uh, this speed issue where the game is too slow or it is too fast. And, the, and this issue is happening, I think this is happening to everybody, that you cannot alt tab by default. If you are gonna do that and you go back to game, it is this situation where the game is black and you cannot know anything about it. So we are gonna fix all these issues right now. So the first thing we are gonna do is we are gonna fix the launchers. So let's put this down and this down. And it's easier if you go to the description and I have this link there. there. And from there, go to the files and see the ultimate collection fixed launchers. And let's open that. And just go here and click download. And you can see this from this description what is what it is. These are the fixed launcher for the Commander Conquer Ultimate Collection, which fix some registry entries and let command line parameters pass through. And I have already downloaded that. So the only thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extract this package like this. And then I will open that and install this package. Next, next, and it will automatically detect that I have installed this. like this. So our first issue is fixed. So the next thing we are going to do again, go here and let's go to this link, CNC DDRAW. And you want to scroll down and click this, CNC DDRAW.chip. And I have already downloaded the CNC DDRAW file. So the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract the package like this. And then I will right click the Commander Conqueror 2 shortcut, go to properties, and click open file location. And now I have the Rattler 2 installation folder in front of me. And so Next, I'm gonna open the D drop folder like this and drag and drop these three files to installation directory like this. If you would now open the game, it wouldn't launch. And the reason for that is because by default, the origin installation is run, run in compatibility mode. So we have to disable that. So red, right, so let's right click the Redler 2 exe file. Go to properties, go to compatibility. And as you can see, run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 95. So you cannot change it. So we have to go change settings for all users like this and uncheck this and click apply. Okay, and now it you can change it so it is unchecked apply okay and let's do the same thing for the ra2md.exe right click properties compatibility 
change settings for all users, uncheck, apply, OK, and OK. So the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to open this ini file, like this. You might have more lines here. It is possible. And then go to back to this site, scroll down, and you can see here are the lines that you have to add to this file. So let's copy this. And let's paste it, it to here, like this. And you can here change the resolution. I'm gonna change it to this. And then I'm gonna put this. Uh, this, this, this doesn't change. If you're, if you're gonna if you're gonna play the game in windowed mode, this doesn't do a thing. Uh, stretch movies works only in full screen mode, so it doesn't work for windowed mode. So it it doesn't make effect if I put here now yes or no because I am playing this game windowed like this, and you wanna do this same exact operation for the RA. To M M D and paste like this and file save. Okay and okay. And then I'm gonna open the D drop dot ini like this and I'm gonna change the window to true like this. And let's see what happens now. So the fixed launcher opens and let's select Retro 2. Everything looks quite nice. Let's go to single player, skirmish, start game. As you can see, it's super fast by default. So let's go to option, game controls, and game speed to fast. Resume much better. Or you can put it to faster. It looks quite nice. And if you have problem, any graphical problem or this uh, right side menu isn't working, you can try this. Let's close the game, back, my menu, exit game. Okay. Uh, go again to the Red Alert installation folder, properties, open file location. And Go here, array to ini, and change this allow VRAM sidebar to yes, and do this exact same exact same change to to array to md dot ini file here and yes, change these to yes and save it. I'm not gonna do that because mine works good now. So we fixed this, we fixed this, this, this and this. So it should work quite nice with these changes. So if this helped you, that's a good thing. Leave a comment if if Leave a comment if you have had problems that you didn't get help.